Hello everyone, uh, welcome you all again to the technology tutorial. Today uh, in this video we are going to discuss one another topic from your syllabus. This is your syllabus from here. Uh, we have already discussed these topics. So now uh, in this video I am going to discuss about this tuples. Okay. So we are going to discuss about these tuples. <coughs> tuple definition, creation of tuple. Traversal of a tuple, operation on a tuple. So these are the uh, topics. So what is there in the tuples? So these functions we are going to include, we are going to use in program. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use these functions. Okay, how to create tuple, what about the tuples and everything we're going to discuss. So for this, I have prepared these study materials for you. So this is tuples. So I will send you on mail this. And here see, this is, these are the programs of tuples these are some pro tuples programs i have done for you and uh, this is the ppt for the tuple so similarly what we have done in list so tuple is also similar to list some differences are there so if you understand about uh, list then automatically you will understand these tuples also so here see these tuples so uh, see here in uh, python as list list already you have done so what about list already you know so the difference between list and tuple, see here, this is tuple and here in list what you have done, this is about list, this is a variable name list. And here, this round bracket we are using here and there in list you have used that square brackets. Okay. And some other differences are also there. I'm going to show you what about that. A tuple is an immutable sequence of Python object. That means the list values, suppose if it is a list, so suppose this square bracket is there, these values you can change here, that is mutable. And in tuples, you cannot change these values. This is immutable. Okay. This is, you cannot edit these values. Okay. And uh, that is one of the difference. Tuples are the sequences just like li a list. The difference between the tuples and list are tuple cannot be changed. Unlike list and tuples use par uh, parentheses, where, uh, whereas the list use square brackets and tuples use these round brackets. Okay. So example to create tuple C, this is tuple QP1, one of the variable name here, and uh, to create a tuple, and these are the values to store uh, in tuple, and which the values are there inside round bracket. So this is the string value, so it is, it is there inside square, uh, a single quote, and this is the numeric values, numbers. So that is why this, there is no single or double quotes here. Clear? So these values we have stored in TUP1 and TUP2, another tuple variable we are taking here. So here we are storing these values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here another tuple, see this one, A, B, C, so like this, you can store the values into tuples. Okay. So now in the next slide, so if you will go, so what about the slide? So, uh, is our new slide? Slide so slide so very slide so some okay okay let's see um, the next slide is not showing why. Okay, now go to that. Uh, it is there. What slides option is where? Slides, slides. Not this one. It is. Okay. So now see here. Next slide. Okay, done. So here see the empty uh, empty tuple is written as two parentheses containing uh, nothing see this is the end empty tuple tup1 is equal to inside round bracket there is nothing that means this is uh, empty tuple okay and how you have created empty list so similarly we are creating empty tuples like this so if you are not giving any value inside this parenthesis that means this is uh, empty tuple so here see the uh, tuple to write a tuple containing a single value you have to include the comma if you are entering the single value also then also you have to give the comma here even though uh, 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 there, there is only one value see there is only one value 50 so we are giving a comma here so this is tuple like string 
uh, indices tuple indices starts at zero that means see in the previous slide here so these indices this is these are not the known as indices these are the elements these are the values so here this value is stored there the index value that is zero physics is there in zero chemistry is there in one 1997 is two 2000 is three that means tup zero means this one tup one one means this one tup one three means this one okay so like that it has stored after the basic tuple operation see what you can do so these are the operation this concatenation sign you can use and multiplication sound uh, sign you can use there tuple respond to uh, the plus n asterisk operator much like string so how we have used in string these operators so similarly in tuple also you can use like that so how to use practically i have done here so you can see see here len one two three that means this is a tuple so this tuples length you can calculate so how many characters are how many uh, values are there in this uh, tuple so that is three values so the length of this tuple is three so by using this length function you can calculate the length of the tuple after that what we are doing this is one two three is one tape tuple four five six is another tuple so you are plus a sign is giving here that means you are concatenating that you are not adding the values of one two three with four five six you are adding the values one two three you are joining these two different tuples that means one two three four five six see it is coming one two three four five six clear so this is joining or concatenation after that see this is one string this is there inside a tuple so high so this is inside single quote means this is a string asterisk four that means four times this high will come one two three four four times this high has come so this is the use of this asterisk symbol and this is the use of this plus symbol three in one two three that means three is the value which is there in one two three or not we are checking that for that this is known as membership operator uh, in so three is there or not in this one two three yes it is so that is why it is coming true that means three is there in one two three okay and this is in loop for x in one two three print x that means it will display uh, in loop so how to use this loop so when you are going to clear the concept of looping then you will understand automatically that means see for x in this is the tuple one two three the value of x is one two three so that is why print x means it will display one two three so this is about four if you will understand four then you will understand automatically this slide after that indexing and slicing of matrix matrices that means see uh, in list how to index already you know how to slice already you know so here see l in this tuple these three values are there l is the tuple here L is the tuple here, tuple name is L here, and the value of this tuple is spam is there, spam is there, and this spam is there. These three spams uh, words are there in this L. So now, if you are going to display this L, zero, L zero means this one. If you are going to display L one, L one means this one. If L two means L two means this one, okay? So see here, L two, you have to write like this, L inside square bracket two. That means it is coming this word. This word is there in the last position. That means 0, 1, 2. It is clear. And here see L minus 2. So already knew, you know if you are going to uh, use this minus sign, that means minus 1, minus 2. That means you have to go from this side. This is minus 1, this is minus 2, this is minus 3 like that. So here see L minus 2. That means minus 1, minus 2. It will come this word. Okay, wait. This word it will come. See this word is coming. Clear. If you are writing here minus 1, that means this word will come. If you will write here minus 3, that means this word will come. Clear? From this side, if you will go, that means this is 0, 1, 2. And if from this side, that means minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. It's clear? So now here see L1 colon. That means starting from the position 1 and ending there is not given. That means entire tuple will come. So L1 means 0, 1. It will come from here, 1. And ending value that is not given here. That means all. So this one also come and this one also will come. So this is coming clear so this is indexing and slicing after that uh, built in some tuple functions are also there so com function is used for comparing compare elements in the two different tuples and len function is used to calculate the length of tuples max means tuples maximum value you can find out and mean means you can find out the minimum values from a tuple and tuple sequence so this converts a list into tuple so all these i have uh, done in practically so you can see thanks okay 
So now uh, I'm going to show you some of the practical programs so that you will understand about tuples. So these are the programs. So I will send you these programs in mail also. So here see tuple one. So I'm going to run this program. <coughs> TOP one, these values are there. In this TOP one, physics, chemistry, 1997 and 2000 is there. And in this TOP two, these values are there. And it's TUP3, these values are there, and TUP4, these values are there. That means uh, four different tuples variables I have taken here. In these tuples, I am going to show you how what types of data you can store there. That means you can store there the string value also inside single code and num numeric value also in the same tuple. That means uh, all types of data you can store in tuple. Yes. And here in this tuple, see in tuple 2, you are storing only the numbers, integer data. And in tuple three, you are storing single characters like by giving inside by inside double code and here in single code. So this value also it will support. And here see 50 and comma we are giving here. So that means this type uh, like this you can store the data in tuples. Okay. So if you print this, print TUP1. So it will display this line. If you print TUP2, so it will display this line. So like that it will print. So you press F5, run this program. So this values has come. Now, uh, as I said, see if you will type here, suppose print, print TUP1 inside square bracket, I'm going to give a size. Suppose TUP1 from here, okay? So from here, you want to display suppose 1997. So what to write for this? So you have to write for this 0, 1, 2. If you write here TUP1, 2, that means it will display 1997 okay just run this program save run this program see this 1997 has come clear so now again suppose you are going to give uh, the the slices like suppose some another values also i am giving here comma 30 comma uh, 40 comma 17 comma 89 okay these values are there clear so now i am going to use the uh, display the values from suppose here to here, suppose see uh, 1997 to 40. Okay, up to this, these only these values I'm going to display for that. What to type for that? See, uh, yeah, starting value is 1997. So, this is there in which position 0, 1, 2. So, you have to write here 2 and you have to give one colon up to the end. You are going to display, then no need to write anything if you are going to display up to 40 only. Okay, so for that, you have to give a range here. So n minus one always always you have to think that here the value what you are going to give n minus one it will go up to n minus one it will go that means if it is forty then you have to give the size of this now say zero one two three four five six so here you have to write six then it will go to five only if you will give here seven then it will go to six clear so I am giving here six that means seventeen zero one two three four five six but it will come up to 40 only, not 17 will come. Okay, save this, run this. See, 1997, 2030 and 40 is coming. Clear? So like this, you have to use tuple. Done. So go to the next one, tuple 2. So here what I have done. So here see accessing values in tuples. So here uh, what I am doing, uh, say tuple 1, these values are there. In tuple 2, these values are there. Print. TUP10. So this is I am writing inside the double quote. That means it will display in the output. TUP10 it will come. And this means the value of TUP10. So this is not inside singular double quote. What is the value of TUP10? TUP10 value is physics. So here it will come TUP10 physics. TUP21 colon 5. That means it will start from 1, 0, 1. It will display from 2 colon 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means it will display up to 5. 2, 3, 4, 5 it will come. Clear? Just run this program. 2, 3, 4, 5 is coming. And this is physics is coming. Clear? Hope you all understand this. And uh, now go to the next program. So if you have cleared list, then it is very easy. So here see uh, updating tuple to change the values in tuple. This is uh, not happen actually. TUP1, 12, 34.56. Uh, TUP2, these values are there. XYZ and XYZ, ABC and XYZ is there. Following action will not valid for tuples. TUP1, 0 equal to 100. That means we are going to change the value of TUP1, 0, suppose. TUP1, 0 means 12 is there. So in 12, I am going to store 100. That means it will not happen. Why? 
because we cannot change the values of tuple. Clear? Let's see, uh, create a new tuple as follows. TUP3 is equal to TUP1 plus TUP2. That means we are going to join these two tuples. So it will display TUP3's value is 12, 34.56, ABC and XYZ. All these values it will store here in TUP3. It is concatenating. Press 5, F5. So these values are coming as TUP3. Clear? So you cannot change this. Okay, TUP1 value, suppose you want to change, you cannot change because this is immutable, you cannot change the values, you cannot edit. Now go to the next one, so here, uh, see, uh, delete tuples element. So here, if you want to delete tuple, then physics, chemistry, 1997, 2000 is the value of TUP, print TUP, that means these values will come, del TUP, that means this tuple you want to delete. After deleting TUP, if you are going to print TUP, that means it will not display. Okay, just press F5. Physics, chemistry, 1997-2000. After deleting TUP is coming and this is showing TUP is not defined. So here see. If you are, uh, here you are printing this one. Print TUP, that means this TUP is printing. So these values are coming. These values are coming. Okay, and here I am writing the line in print print after deleting TUP. So here it, this line is also coming after deleting TUP. And print TUP, so it will not display. Why? Because this TUP already you have deleted. That is why this error is coming. Clear? Okay. Now go to the next one. Tuples 5. So here what I have done. <coughs> here see, uh, these two tuples are there. Print tuple 1. And by using this LAN function, you can calculate the length of this tup TUP. And print, concatenate this one to multiplication this one. Multiply, that means number of times. TUP1, 4. That means 4 times this TUP1 will display. XYZ, ABC, XYZ, ABC, XYZ, ABC. Like that, 4 times it will display. Print 1997 in TUP. That means it will give true. Because 1997 is there in TUP. Okay. If you will uh, give your 1997, if any value you are giving 1995 in TUP, it will show false because 1995 is not there in this tuple. If you are writing 1997, so 1997 is already there in this TUP, so it will there true. It will display true. Okay. By using for also you can display the values for x in TUP. So this loop you are using here for x in TUP. X is the looping variable here in TUP. In is the membership uh, operator here in TUP. So in TUP these values are there for x. X means first time this value is there physics here in the value of x. Next time again when this loop will execute, the value of x is chemistry is there. Then print chemistry. Again the value of x is 1997. So it will print 1997. So again the value of x is 2000. So it will print 2000. F5. See, this output is for the first print. Uh, print TUP. So these values are coming. And LAN TUP. Calculating the length, it is displaying 4. 0, 1, uh, 1 2, 3, 4. 4 values are there. And TUP1 plus TUP2, so it is adding TUP1 with TUP2. So physics, chemistry, all values are coming and XYZ, ABC is also coming in the same line. After that, uh, TUP1 into 4, 4 times this TUP1 will display. TUP1 value is XYZ, ABC, so it is coming XYZ, ABC, XYZ, ABC, XYZ, ABC, like this it is coming. Okay. 1997 in TUP, so 1997, this value is there in TUP or not? Yes, it is there in TUP, that is why it is coming true. Okay. So after that, you are by using for loop, you are displaying the values. So it is coming physics, chemistry, 1997, 2000. Done. So this program also have finished. Now go to this one. Okay. So here, uh, the same thing, double slicing we are doing here. Print TUP2, that means it will display what? Physics, chemistry, 0, 1, 2, 1997, it will display. And print TUP minus 2, that means from this side, minus 1, minus 2, 1997, again it will display. And print TUP 1 colon, no value is given here. That means it will display from 1, 0, 1. Chemistry, 1997, 2000, it will display. Press F5. So it is coming, chemistry, uh, 1997, 2000 is coming. So till now we have finished this tuple. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to discuss about the next one. That means after tuples, you have dictionary. So in next video, you will get dictionary. So after the sorting algorithm, okay. Okay. For